have this tapestry that is Ravenclaw and it came from a loot crate box and then I keep my old book net fest things here along with a Ravenclaw tie. So then we'll move on to this side of the room. So this is my couch and kind of my sitting area. I have this Harry Potter accent wall. These are all my Funko Pops and just some artwork. Um, these are actually, I think, Darkling pictures. And then up here I have things from Six of Crows. And then over here I have my Harry Potter bookshelves. They're not done. You guys will get a tour of my whole collection eventually, just not yet. Um, and then along that wall, there is the sign that I made and I have a video on it. There's a wand holder, some Harry Potter pictures, and then a cart, and then some random junk over here. So we're just gonna avoid that. I keep just a bunch of random stuff in here, like a lot of my adult coloring books and just little uh, camera accessories and stuff are in here and just some small random papers. And then down here I have, I don't even remember what I have. Oh, that's like all of my craft paper and stuff that I just have nowhere else for. I usually have whatever I'm reading down here at the end. Right now I'm just kind of searching this Our Planet thing. So then when I'm reading I can just kick up my feet and have this view. So I have this coffee table here. I keep tissues because the cats are always with me and I'm allergic. I usually have some sort of coaster here and then I have just this little like trinket tray that I keep. I love this coffee table because it was from a yard sale that we redid. And then I have this rug which I think I got from Ross for like $15 and it's really nice and fluffy. This is my book cart. The top shelf tends to be like my TBR, want to get to soon books. The middle shelf are books that I've read, books that I've taken out from the library. And then the last shelves is books that I need to haul. This is just random junk. So this here is just kind of a random corner. I have my diploma. I have some random artwork from I think a fairy loot box. I have this which I usually pull out to sit on and it just houses a bunch of random stuff inside. And then on top is my electric typewriter. And then we have my desk and my new awesome chair. So for being such a small desk this actually holds so much. And then underneath I have my printer and paper and things like that. Then we have, this is actually my vanity and this holds all of my makeup. This is kind of hair stuff, perfume, lotion. On top is just stuff that I use on the daily and lipsticks and then some jewelry and some brushes and then a mirror. And then my closet is literally always a mess and it doesn't get the door closed but behind the door we have one of my favorite things it is a dog doggo statue 
And then I have some more kind of junk just thrown back here with my cardigans. So I have this Mulan poster that I got in Disney. I just had to have it. Drunk me was so excited. Keep my pins on the door for right now just because I don't really know where else to put them for the time being. So this is such a weird closet. Such an inspiring colorful closet going on here but such a weird closet. Um, it's really really narrow and really deep and so I'm probably going to change it to fit things better. So the door is always open because it's literally always got stuff in front of it. There's just not enough room in here. So I do keep my backdrops for Instagram here for now and then I actually have all my props in this first drawer because there's just nowhere else for them. I do love to keep these pictures of my friends along here. It looks really cool during the day. At night not so much. It's quite orange in here. Yeah I do. I watch stuff on here and play sims on this one and then on this one is my Mac and I do like editing and stuff there. And then there's always a coffee cup, always a candle, sticky notes, and electronics and stuff inside of there. I keep this on here because the cats love, well, Phoenix has cleaned the chair as his own. And so I want to protect the pleather of the chair because otherwise he would just scratch it all up. So I put this really soft blanket here that he can do, you know, need that. no books on it <laughs> it will be the easiest to get out of the way so I have kind of this empty space at the top I'm not too sure what I want to do with it yet I don't know I'm just not too sure yet I think I would actually like to wallpaper this and maybe mount the tv because right now it's just setting on here but right now I have these pictures that Amanda gave me and then I have my tv and then I have some fake flowers and candles and stuff beside that and a picture of me and Phoenix and then underneath of that I have all of my DVDs and these are color coordinated and then I have some pictures off to the side and some random stuff. I actually have this like drawer system and that's where I keep all of my washi tape. And on the bottom I have just some yard sale finds. I got this paper organizer at yard sale and I painted it teal and it holds all of my kind of like little tiny notebooks and envelopes and what are those called? Like note cards and library cards and stuff. And then I have this thing of fake glass. I have my letter board, which I rarely use because it's such a pain in the butt to like switch out the letters. It just says book all the time. And then I have this telephone that I got a yard sale to on a stack of some old notebooks. lighting just does not it's not great in this room and I haven't gotten any string lights for the sun yet I'm waiting for Christmas because they're just too expensive at this time of year so along the top I kind of just have some of my old textbooks that I really want to keep some older books I have my duplicates that I have of some of my favorite series I have my goosebump series up here I have all of my book sleeves up here as well that I can just grab whenever I need to. I have a whole thing of like planners and notebooks 
and then I have all of my Game of Thrones up here because I just am not interested in reading them yet so um, on the next one down I have most of my middle grade stuff and then all of my Harry Potter editions right now just because before I had this one whole section over here as Harry Potter and it was just too much it just looked cluttered I didn't like it that much especially when I have so many books that need shelved so I did a Harry Potter shelf of just my books and then all of my trinkets are over on a different bookshelf entirely I consider this one this side more of like my favorite series books that I really like um, or my fantasy stuff so then I kind of have all of that onto the shelves and this is where most of my fandom trinkets go like you'll be able to see along here I have a lot of fandom trinkets going on um, I kind of have a special section just for like Sarah J Moss and then one for Lee Bardugo and then I've kind of started one for B.E. Schwab but I don't know if I'm gonna keep it that way and on the bottom um, I have some of my older favorite series which are the Lunar Chronicles and the Raven Boys and then all of my graphic novels. Underneath my Harry Potter shelf I have a whole fairy loot shelf because those editions are beautiful and I've actually put the books like the spine out and then I've taken what is it, book sleeves off and I've put in, put in, and I've put the books facing out that have the colorful pages. And then I have one of the special edition anniversary boxes in the middle there. And that actually houses all of my mystery toys. Because <laughs> I'm an adult. <laughs> no one wants to know that I have an obsession with mystery toys. Um, this next one is kind of just empty space that I've filled up for now. It just has some like trinkets on it. The treat your shelf sign. I do have all my Lord of the Rings here. And I've just taken some of my mass market paperbacks to put against that book and that's actually from Shelf Love Crate. And then I have my DIY Hobbit Hole Terrarium here. Then I have this print that is from Disney that I just love so much of the Poison Apple. And just some other little small things. Below that I actually have my Cassandra Clare shelf. And then below that I actually have my ARCs. And then books that I need to review. And then a thing of notebooks in case I want to write those things down. That's where I keep my bullet journals and stuff there. And then the bottom row is just a bunch of older series that I liked that are kind of like what I would consider OG series. So we have both of my Twilight editions and then the Uglies series and then Fifth Wave, Divergent, Hunger Games, and Maze Runner. So those are my OG series down there. Some things of note. This here actually came in a PR box that I got for the newest one in the um, Miss Peregrine series. You actually look through it and you see some of the creepy pictures, so I've kept that here. This Will and Jim candle, and I do believe that that was fairy loot. I also have a rune scarf here, and then I have the, the Shadowhunters stories. They're like, um, the Shadowhunters and like fairy tales re-imaged or whatever and this came in a pre-order I think of Queen of Air and Darkness. It was also from a PR box and it was just so stinking cute I had to keep it. And then this is a mystery toy. It's so squishy. It is actually one of the loot crates turned inside out that I just have for now until I get another box set. <laughs>
off is I do have these Fairy Loot exclusive coasters here. They're actually uh, Lunar Chronicles inspired, so I keep those there. And then I have all of my Saga Funko Pops down here. I'm missing like three. <laughs> I'm so upset. Literally just to give them some different levels on a piece of styrofoam. <laughs> it works really well because you can actually push them down in. And then all of my graphic novels here. I have these Magnetic Six of Crows characters. I thought about stringing them up, but the magnets aren't great on them and they keep falling apart. But they're really cute. And then I have the tarot cards from Fairy Loot, which are gorgeous. I have Anesha's Fleet. And I think this was a Fairy Loot. I'm not too sure. And then the Two Clever Fox. And then we have this Inej one, which is a boogie box one, which no longer exists. These chess pieces are actually from Shelf Love, and they did like a full, they're doing like a full set of them, but I just happened to get one they had Kaz and Inej. I seriously love these. They are so cute. I want them for everything. And then I have this Mel and Alina little candle down here. And then I have some Six of Crows goodies back there, and then I also have these Grisha pins. So then on this level, these are actually playing cards that came in a set from Fairy Loot. And these are from the Cruel Prince series, but I love them. And I think they look really good. These are tarot cards also from Fairy Loot, but these are characters from A Court of Mists and Fury series, A Court of Thorns and Roses series. Sorry, do we really count the first one? I have a fake tarot card here. And then I have this, it is a mirror, and it is to the stars who listen in the dreams that it answered. And then I have this Manon the 13 candle, which was a bookie candle. I love that this came in like a cauldron. I also have this here, and it says I throw in a glass area, so these are sticky tabs for specifically for throwing a glass. I have this Aelin, these Aelin candles, um... Aline, whatever you want to call her, but this one's Boogie Box. I do have this Denarius Funko keychain, but I think it could also count as Case Fallen Over because she's a bit top heavy. But then I have this Amarantha big bookie candle as well, which is from A Court of Thorns and Roses. So I have this exclusive Red Rising edition, and then I also have this patch from Fairy Loot. It is I Am the Reaper and, I, and Death is My Shadow, which uh, this is an iron patch. I don't have a patch collection yet. I mean, I have a collection, but I don't have anywhere to put them yet. I also have my Aubrey Rose Wadsworth candle here because I keep my Stocking Jack the Ripper series here. I have this wooden bookmark that Amanda from Read All the Books actually made me. She handmade this for me and she painted this with my old logo. It's so cute. I love it. I always have it on display. And then I have this which is from Fairy Loot 2 and it's like a little trinket tray. I also have this notebook that is Mia from Nevernight because I have all my Nevernight things here. And um, this is actually a notebook from Amanda and then she also made me a Mia candle herself. And then I got this, I think this was in, this was in some sort of box, but I don't remember it. Wow, that's dusty. And then I actually bought this really big one back here. Novelly yours, and it's called Stab, Stab, Stab. And then it has a quote on it from Nevernight on the back. I have this little Buddha that my pap gave me, oh, like, 20 years ago now, I swear. And I've just always had him. I love him. He's actually from China when my pop went there. Um, and then I have my collection of just like random candles up here that don't really have a place right now. They're just there. I think they look good like in a Avatar Funko. This is actually a clutch that came in a Wonder Crate. I love this so much and it has a wooden cat keychain on it, but it's just absolutely gorgeous. Baby Groot. And another Baby Groot. And then more candles and then we just have some trinkets <laughs> I love old cameras there you'll see them as like a theme
just recently redone them because I had forgotten to leave any space for new books. I like having the dark books on top and the light books on bottom, though most people do that differently. I do have dark books on <laughs> both the very top and very bottom just because there are so many dark books. <laughs> but you'll also see I have some string lights out. Again, I won't be replacing those till like Christmas, so I'm not super worried about them. But um, yeah, I don't have a lot going on here, so I'll just show you. The way I do my rainbow is I start at pink, go to red, red comes down into orange, which goes into yellow, which goes into green, teal, blue, purple, purple, into white, and then extra stuff down here. And then I have mass market paperbacks here in a box here, and I'll show you a little bit of that. And yes, the ladder moves, so I will be moving it over. Some things to note here, I have this Shelf Love box. I just love the color of this box. I figured I would keep it to hold extra trinkets and stuff, but I just absolutely love this. They sent this to me as a thank you for doing the readathon announcement for them. So I, I just love it, and I love having a memory of that. And on this one, we have kind of my Halloween Funkos. These are... <laughs> sorry, Jack. My Jack Skellington and Sally and then Beetlejuice and then ooh, Mini Oogie Boogie and then one of the Christmas toys there. A little candle and a smaller giraffe figure here just for lack of really having anything else. Hidden Disney characters among these shelves. So these are from <laughs> Mystery Toys that I just I love. Found this frame at a yard sale and I just loved how bright it was. And then I found this just picture off of like Google Images and printed it. And then I have my Bilbo Baggins with the ring on. <laughs> I have these like Penguin mini classics that I love. I got these. Um, someone actually had them in a storage unit. My parents bought the storage unit and they had these in a box in there. And I will snatch them up. That is $3.19. And then we have this super jumbo yellow jack that I got at a yard sale that I just, I love. I love how wonky. And then we have this white elephant. I absolutely love elephants. He does have a chip in his trunk there. Um, and then I just have a trinket dish that has a bunch of random. And then my Bernadette Funko, which was the very first Funko that I ever got. My mom actually got it for me because she thought you were supposed to buy ones that look like you. I do want to note that I don't like the way the lights lay across the books. So many of you told me, oh my god, that's a fire hazard. Yes, I know. They're only ever on when I'm in the room. Um, and when I'm filming, most of the time they're not on. I do want to get some of those like curtain lights and I think just connect them along the shelf instead. Like this room is just constantly a work in progress, but everything in my house is. This here is just my mass market paperback collection. I just have them on spot because I don't like the way they look on my shelves like up and down because they're just too short with everything else here is actually my book my box of bookmarks i keep all of my bookmarks down in here except for my fairy loot ones <laughs> um but that's where i keep most of my bookmarks i end up going for my wooden bookmark here we have the zebra statue which i just absolutely love and yes it's from here too <laughs> amy winehouse funko i absolutely love amy winehouse i was like devastated when she passed but um she's still still my favorite i have more pictures of amy winehouse in my house than me or brian <laughs> then we have my live more funko this is my most full shelf because i just have so many blue books they just never end i have this here but it's just kind of holds a bunch of random stuff for now it's just a placeholder for when i get more blue books <laughs> i have this futurama uh spaceship Kind of thing it's magnetic and it pops right off there but uh futurama is one of my all-time favorite shows so when i saw this uh, i just had to have it i love this little replica he's so cute little maximus harley quinn i absolutely love this version of harley quinn and then we have this little camera this is actually a bank and it's from a yard sale <laughs> up there back when i thought i was going to be a photographer and that's a sony alpha
just staring at everyone's souls. Is that your seat? Yeah, I figured. <laughs>